All right, guys, today we're gonna to do another Southern favorite, boiled green peanuts, but we're gonna do them Louisiana style with the Brian Mason flair. So uh, we got our bushel of green peanuts grown at Waldron Farms in Citra, Florida, right down the road. Got myself a little boiler. All those obviously aren't gonna fit in there. We're gonna do a couple batches, but uh, here we go. I got a crock pot too, because I'm gonna do some in the crock pot, nice and slow and easy. They take a long time, but here they take about two hours. So boiled green peanuts, nothing like it in the world, but I do mine with all kinds of cool stuff inside, as you might imagine. This is a bright and sunny day out. I got my peanuts, I wash them right in the bag. I've got 12 pounds of peanuts in here and I've got my water in, in there. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding, we're gonna get her started up hooked up to the propane here get it out in the driveway far away from everything so no fires yeah, it's not too hot around us because it's a hot day today so i'm gonna get my seasoning and start throwing stuff in there but let's get her started up first and hooked up to the propane all right we got our peanuts going and i forgot the first step but i guess i could reach in here and see i put a whole stalk of celery in here by the way <laughs> First thing that I'm doing is Adirans crab boil. Throw those bags down in there. Three of them. We're doing 12 pounds of peanuts. So three of those and one complete stalk of celery. That's the start. Here we are. This is a vegan crawfish or a uh, vegan crab boil with no crabs. So three of those go in there and tuck it right down in. So when it boils, it's ready to go. And then we're going to Get some salt, get this baby going, and then we'll add all the special ingredients in about an hour after it starts boiling. All right, now, got that baby kind of settled, we're gonna add in some more spices. So on top of the Zatarans, I'm gonna throw in a couple of cups of Slap Your Mama. This is Cajun seasoning, it's great. Uh, and don't ever slap your mama, because you might end up with the short end of the deal. But anyway, slap your mama. That's good stuff. And uh, we're gonna do two cups to start with because I'm gonna be adding some other things in here. So we're gonna get that baby going and that's gonna give her some zing. This is a great Cajun seasoning. And uh, so we're gonna do two cups right inside the peanuts and let them babies soak all this up. Now this has got the salt rate in it. So I am not gonna add any extra salt right now. I'm gonna check in about an hour. Okay, but right now we're not gonna add any extra salt. Now over here, I got the little itty bitty one going. This just goes in the crock pot. Now these are gonna be plain, just salted. And we got some friends in the park. Miss Sunny likes to come over with her kids. Dominic and Layla. And they like just plain old peanuts. So these here have got about three quarters of a cup of salt and about four pounds of peanuts. And I just put that on high in the crock pot and we're gonna let that baby just roll. And uh, hopefully by tonight, later, everybody usually comes over around eight or nine. So we got several hours to get this baby going and uh, they'll be ready to eat. If not, I'll soak them all night. I'll turn that on first thing in the morning. We'll eat them tomorrow. But we'll get these plain ones going. So again, that's about four pounds that's in the crock pot and about three quarters of a cup of Himalayan salt. I try to use all organic ingredients and all natural ingredients. And as you'll see with the, um, with the big pot I'm doing, I add all kinds of fancy stuff in and it actually becomes a peanut boil. It's a, it's a real peanut, peanut boil. It's, uh, it's, it'll be a meal. So when uh, people put it on a plate, it's not gonna be just peanuts. Anyway, these are my special, special, uh, special recipes that I've conjured up being down here in the south the last several months. It's a beautiful morning here in Orange Lake, Citra, Florida. I've let these guys sit all night. Uh, boiled them for an hour, shut them off, let them soak. They're starting to really retain the flavor. So now what I'm gonna do is get them uh, simmering again and start adding a few more of my spices. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I think, cut up some jalapenos and throw in there. 
so they can really get a little bit of a zing for us. All right, guys. Starting to steam, so I'm putting in two jalapenos cut in half. We'll zing her up a little bit. And then we're gonna go let this thing keep boiling. They are boiling for about another hour or so, but uh, the peanuts are starting to taste really, really good. Really good. And then we're gonna add in some of our secret ingredients coming up here. That young. It's another beautiful day here in sunny Florida. And I've got Dr. Mason here. What are we making today? What's, uh, what am I making today? Uh, all sorts of things. Peanuts, boiled, boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts. Two days. This is the recipe for boiled peanuts. So here we go. Uh, but I just peanuts. wanted you guys to know she's still around. You don't see her in the videos anymore, but she's still here, aren't you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. All right. We got some exciting things. I've been boiling these peanuts on and off for probably what? Two or three hours? Well, boiling two hours. But I let them soak quite a while. And uh, so now I'm finishing them off. They're boiling, they're rolling, and I'm adding in some great things. And so uh, let's get out there and see what I'm gonna put in. Gotta go in the kitchen here and get some stuff. All right, we're gonna be putting in some uh, corn on the cob. I cut them into little chunks. We're gonna put those in. Of course, we gotta put our dog bones in for flavor. I'm just kidding. Some people use oxtails, but we don't, obviously. Uh, we are gonna put in some green onions, potatoes, and carrots in the mix as well. So I'm gonna dabble this up and get her going, and uh, we should be ready to go. And then I'm gonna put that in just for as long as it takes to cook those deals. Let's get in here and see what she looks like. There we go, look at that baby. Mm, smells good. Ah, though, let me tell you that much. All right, it was too hard to put the bag of goodies in and hold the camera, but there you go. This is our peanut boil, like a crab boil, but peanut boil. I'm gonna cover that up. I'm gonna let that go for about maybe 20 minutes, and we are going to shut it off, let her soak down to a, a temperature that we can uh, begin to eat. And I'm going over, I'm gonna make a Cajun, well, not a Cajun, I'm gonna do a Cuban dish. Cuban, yeah. Cuban dish, southern dish, you know, and mix it all together uh, on the grill. It's a one pot deal. Uh, so we have lots of food today to eat, lots and lots of food. I hope some of the neighbors, uh, some of the neighbors come by for sure. But it uh, doesn't look like there's anybody here. We'll knock on some doors. We're gonna feed people. What are you eating? Peanut boil? Yum. How is it? Good. Look at all those shells. Oh my gosh. You guys got all the veggies out of there. How about that guy? He's loving it. Loving it. Pete, what do you think? Awesome. Awesome. All right. We did it. The first ever peanut boil. And I think it was a success. This is hot, spicy, and like, but good. Yeah. Corn, potatoes, carrots. All yeah, delicious. yeah, throwing in some corn, potatoes, carrots. Man, awesome. All right, what I do you want say? More veggies. Five stars? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> you don't even know. Ah! that wasn't the best peanut boil ever ever even the neighbors agreed and big thanks to pete our buddy for coming over for dinner and uh walden farms thanks for keeping it real in citra florida growing peanuts and listen we hope you all had fun come back for another adventure the mason adventure